Hey guys, Rob Stellini here, and it's Thursday, so that means it's A to Z time. Uh, I've been terribly busy this week, so I'm recording at 1 o'clock on Thursday. So this is going to be a bit of a short one, so that I can make sure I get it up. Um, firstly, it talk about a bit, what about I'm des- a bit about what I'm designing. Uh, it's an outro for Cal Freezy. Uh, I've been really short of like recorded stuff this week, so it's a bit of a shit one. Um, the final output is I'm pretty pretty happy with it, but again, it's just an outro, so listen to me. Don't judge what you're seeing on screen. I'm, I'm I normally do projects that are better than that. Um, so this week we're talking about S. Uh, now Adam Walshy's style and standards got 22 likes. So it's clear that's what you guys want to see. But I saw there was also quite um, a relevant one from Unorthodox Design uh, of stealing and sorry. So before we start, I know this is a video of Cal Freezy, which is why it's particularly relevant. Um, Unorthodox did Cal Freezy's newest background. Uh, I had a little bit of a. Uh, I wasn't particularly happy with it, but I, w- I was having a bit of a tough day. Uh, I behaved not the most mature fashion. Um, we swept it under the carpet. So, uh, stealing and sorry is quite relevant, but not something I actually want to talk about because um, it's not what you guys are so interested in. Style and standards was what was chosen by Adam Walshy. So, let's kick off. Um, now, style is always quite an interesting one when you're talking about YouTube stuff. Um, in the greater design world, there's fashion, uh, much like clothes and stuff, you, you get stuff that's in fashion, typefaces, uh, at the moment we're going for a, we've kind of just been through a revival of the hipster, uh, retro, uh, nicer, old style typefaces, um, sorry my phone is going crazy, um, and yeah, so it's, it's been quite a clean, um, but retro feel and actually I think that we're going further into this clean idea people looking at the way Apple present their stuff uh, and a lot of the web designers really refining out and just looking at how they can display their information with just type Um, and especially within Windows 8 if you look at the new design for that it's almost complete flat color uh, for all the buttons and stuff and it's it's very very trendy at the moment Um, so I think that that's definitely starting to rub off within the YouTube world we're getting more designers (coughs) <coughs> that aren't <coughs> sorry, I'm not feeling very well. That aren't delving into the space backgrounds and the flares uh, as much. And actually, people like it's magic here, um, who is one of the most amazing designers on YouTube. Full stop. Um, really thinking outside the box and creating like completely different designs. Um, and he's perfected his own style, and it's it's fantastic. And I think that everyone does need their own style. You have your own way of doing stuff. Now that that might not necessarily mean that you're completely innovative and different like Magic is, but it could mean that you're a bit. You do something a bit differently. I I pride myself on my ability to to handle type, uh, and by that I mean how I arrange the words on a page. And actually, the the main focus of my designs tends to be the typography and the arrangement of the lettering and just a good clean legibility focus but also interesting uh construction and um i think that that's probably because i'm looking to do that after university after graduating and after in the wide world of work um so styles are dictated by a lot of things i think a lot of people are limited by what they're able to do what they feel they're able to do people don't necessarily try other styles people see magic's work and think Wow, that looks really difficult. I know I do. Um, I can't draw people, so I'm kind of fucked with that one. Um, but it's definitely encouraging other people to try that style. So, um, <clears throat> style's a, a really interesting one, and I think it's what dictates a lot of the way people work. And to be interesting, you have to keep your style up to date, but keep changing it a little bit and making it more interesting. Um, I, th- I think it's it, it's a really important one. Um, so. Yeah, so that that was a, just a brief look at style. Uh, and the other one is standards. Now, I'm not 100% sure what Adam Walshy meant by standards. Um, I talked about how... I, th- I don't remember, I think it was R, maybe before that, about how you should always produce your best design. And I think that that's something that I'll constantly go back to talking about, is how you need you need to always give your best like the, you work to your highest standard. Never underrepresent yourself. Never make yourself. 
Never, well, never undersell yourself. If if you're better than the design you're creating, start again. It, it's always a bad idea, and I think that 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 goes forward to carrying when it talks to when it's about talking to clients. I know when I talk to clients and you give them a range of options, never give them a shit one. Mainly because you don't want to misrepresent yourself as being that bad, but also because they'll always pick the shit one. If you give them a shit option, they will pick the shit option, and you don't have a choice about that. Once they've picked it, you're fucked. Um, so always give the clients. The, the 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 highest standard of your work, um, never pad it out, and I think standards always has that also has that other thing about your standards as, well, almost as a person, as um, do you, I I have standards with who I work with, um, there have been people that have come to me in the past, and big 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 YouTubers have come and said like. Will will you do this and that for me? And I've said no. Um, now, thankfully, I'm in a position where I don't. I can turn work like that down. I I, I remember a time where I, I had to work with them, namely Anto Holland, the Bell End. Um, I don't like naming people. He's the only one I will name. Um, but I've I had to work with him to boost my publicity. And now I'm in a position where I can have standards. I can say no and turn people away. Um, and standards just for free work. I don't ever work for free, but I am likely to give you a significant discount, or you can pay me in other ways. Maybe you don't pay the full amount in cash. Actually, the truth is, the bigger channels that want it, maybe the million plus, that um, you might think about doing it for free. Just remember that how much, <coughs> excuse me, how much revenue they're getting from YouTube. It's tax deductible because it's an expense, and actually. It's like buying a PVR or an Elgato. You are investing in your channel. And I think that's, that's the same for little channels. But the bigger channels that you might think about doing for free, always remember they're making a shit ton of money. And the good ones will offer to pay you anyway. Because um, they value your work. And those are the ones that will come back and constantly get give you more work and respect your design. It won't just tread on your feet. Um, so it's about picking people to work with with standards as well. So the people that are likely to to roll you over or not appreciate your work aren't really worth working with. Um, I want to stress that I'm not talking about Cal Freezy here, highlighted by the fact that I've already gone back to working with him uh, after the uh, the issue. Cal's a great guy. Um, but there are there are people out there that aren't, aren't so great and, and that will... Um, I, I won't name drop because I'll end up just getting flamed and hated on. Uh, but there are people out there that change their backgrounds a week after having had someone make them. And that is, well, it's a, it's a kick, and especially if you've done it for free. I remember I used to do stuff like that for free, and that would happen, and it was it was so demoralising. And I think that if if I were a bit more sensible, I could have handpicked the ones that I needed and that I thought would give me a bit of better exposure. People like JJ, um, and so on that I knew would actually represent me as a as a designer. So I guess that's as much as I can really talk about standards. Um, thank you to Adam Walshy for your suggestions. And actually, thanks to everybody who clicked like. There are a whole bunch of stuff that have five or six likes on them. I, I wish I could talk about them in more, more detail. Uh, maybe next week I'll have a longer video that I can talk a little bit longer about. So uh, next week's ST. Um, so let me know what you would have for T. Maybe let me know what you thought about my things for S, about um, style and standards. Um so like each other's comments. Make sure you get what you want to be represented. Uh, this is a, we will be on every Thursday, um, and we're coming towards the end. I'm trying to work out how to continue this series after Z. So if you have any ideas, maybe let me know in a uh, tweet or something. Um, great video from Francie coming this weekend. Brilliant, brilliant YouTuber. Um, expect to see that up at some point. Um, and all in all, have a great week. Uh, I'll see you guys next Thursday. Goodbye.